Hi everybody and Happy New Year's Day. And I went out to lunch with my mom uh, this afternoon, or this noon, and we had a wonderful lunch. We went to Perkins, if anybody has a Perkins. Uh, there was the places we wanted to go were both closed, so we went to Perkins. My mom is, doesn't like anything. <laughs> <laughs> she always says something's bad when we eat out, but she's 87 years old and she doesn't have the taste buds she used to have and things just don't taste right to her anymore. So anyway, making excuses, but um, she had um, the 55 and up um, meal was two pancakes and an uh, some sort of an omelet. I don't know what she had, but it had like uh, uh, grilled onions and peppers on it. I know that. And she said the pancakes were wonderful. They were huge. They were big pancakes. And uh, you get the 55 and up for like a dollar and a half cheaper than the normal, I think it is. And uh, she didn't like her omelet though. She said it was really rubbery and the uh, onions and that were burnt. That's what she said. But she did like her pancakes at least. I had chicken strip meal, which was normally $10.99, but I got it for the 55 and up price. For um, It was like uh, 8 30 no, 9 35 or something like that. Anyway. Um, I got several pieces of chicken strips, which were cooked perfectly to my specifications, which I like, is uh, really done. So they're really crispy, but they're, you know, not dry on the inside. And these were perfect. And they came with honey mustard sauce. And then I got an uh, offer of two sides. So I got mashed potatoes and gravy and corn. And it was delicious. Very good. So then mom brought me home and I thought, I am going to run to Walgreens. I've been wanting to do this for a while to see if they have any of their new items that they got for Wet n Wild. So, um, and then after I was done there, I went to Dollar Tree just to see what they had. See what they had, if they had anything decent um, Christmassy because they had 50% off on all their Christmas stuff. So let me show you my um, Dollar Tree haul first. And it's mainly boring stuff. So um, I wanted some of those dish scrubbies. Though they're round, and they have like a handle that you can scrub your your um, plates. I really, really like them a lot. They didn't have any of them, but they had all of these. These are the finger ones where you hold onto it on right here. And um, there's what. One, two, three, four, five, six of them in there. So that should last me a good long while. Then I got, oh, I was going to leave one of these in my car too. Darn it. Um, I get these for the insides of my car windows because sometimes they get um, frosty in there or, or dewy inside or they just get dirty from me wiping them. So I like these for those, and I also like these for my makeup brushes, to clean my makeup brushes. See, I told you, it's probably going to be pretty boring. Then I got one of these. Um, you just put the soap in here and then scrub your dishes. I like that kind of stuff. I, If any of you have ever tried this, if you have trouble with dish stop stoppers um, in your kitchen sink, use these. These are awesome. They kind of work on a suction um, deal and they work so good. They work better than any of the dish stoppers that you can buy at Dollar Tree, believe me. Um, I got some, this was new at my Dollar Tree. They usually have the palm olive in this size, which I really like the palm olive, but I thought I would try this. And this is the Ajax and the Citrus Berry Splash see what it smells like oh it smells really good and this was even a little bit bigger than the palm olive one this is uh, uh, 16 ounces so that's a pretty decent size for a dollar I think then for my black pants at work I got a lint roller which I needed desperately um, I did get they didn't have anything new in the makeup aisle but I did get a couple more of the um, large eyeshadow brushes by wet n wild 
Okay, that's one bag. Let me put the stuff back in here, and then I'll, I've got two bags there, so. Okay. And I've got another haul coming, um, but all of the items haven't gotten here yet, and it is, um, I got some great advice from my friend Lulu, and I'll link her channel down below. But I got some great advice from her on skincare, and she did a yay or nay or, or told me what to do because I've never done skincare, ever. Never done serums, never done any of that kind of stuff, and I think it's time to start. So um, she gave me some great advice. So I ordered some stuff from Timeless, which is a really nice skincare brand, and I got some stuff from Shopgo that um, I will just all lump together once the Timeless stuff gets here. And it should be here Tuesday. So, Okay, so um, Dollar Tree, I got two of these. I love, love, love candy canes. The peppermint ones. Just the plain old peppermint ones. I love them. So I got two packs of these. These were 50 cents each. Which is pretty darn awesome. And I also got a 20 pack of Christmas cards for um, 50 cents, which is pretty good. And it's got all of these Christmas cards in there, which there's some darn cute ones in there. You know, they're not fancy, but they're fine. My other. And then I, I bought a couple candy bars. They are 89 cents at the Dollar Tree. So, okay, that is my Dollar Tree haul. See, I told you it was. Kind of boring. It wasn't anything spectacular, but I hadn't been there for a little while. So, okay, now for my Walgreens haul. And I also got, um, I don't even know how much these were. Let me look. I wish I would have known that I was, when I was in Walgreens, that I was going to Dollar Tree. But um, let's see. Oh shit, I didn't know that either. Okay, never mind. Um, $1.98. So these were a lot more expensive. Um, I got two packages of these also. And these are these are the full size ones though. Those other ones were kind of mini. So they're like two of them would make one a package of these. Okay. Let's set these over here so I can put my other stuff up here. Alright, so here comes the makeup stuff. I bought some makeup stuff at Walgreens today and I'm really hoping I don't have doubles of anything but if I do I will put them in a giveaway pull up my sleeves <laughs> okay the first item I got was I got one of the infallible I told myself I was not going to buy any more um, foundation because I don't wear it often enough I only wear it maybe once on the weekends but this here is the brand new. It's the Infallible Total Cover. And I got color uh, 301 Classic Ivory. It's 24-hour foundation. It says full coverage, weightless feel. And this is what it looks like. And it, this was buy one um, for full price and then get something else for Lori, from L'Oreal for half price. And so what I got was... The Infallible Lip Paints. And I got the color, this is brand new to me, it's 312. Nude Star. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, see, I, I thought it was like a, a, a melted lipstick with the deal but it's shit very pretty color anyway it's just got a regular doe foot out applicator but it's kind of cool I like that and this is the color very pretty it's the only one that really interested me okay and so then um, I wish I would have known this too um, then for the new stuff on Wet n Wild, they have the Mega Cushion Highlight Illuminator. 
I thought I, I just had to try this. And what this was, $5.99. So I don't think that's too terrible bad, $5.99. Okay, it's got a little black cushion inside that you go like this. And it's kind of a rubbery. Okay, and then it is shut like that. Let's open it. Oh, pretty. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingers. Put it on my arm right here. I'm hoping you can see that. This is what the cushion looks like. And what I, I don't know that I'll use this. I think I might use, um, so I'm assuming you put this on there every time. I am going to try to probably use a stippling brush with that or something. Okay, so anyway, that is what it looks like. Very cute. Okay, and then um, buy or the uh, this here was four ninety nine. So this is the cushion mega cushion soft matte lip cream, and they only had two colors, and the other color was kind of a pinky violet, which I didn't think I'd like very much. So this is what I got. Ooh, kind of a different. Oh, and this is kind of orangey. God dang it! Sure doesn't look like an orange looks like more of a nudie something but it's very you can really shear it out it's this one so I don't know we will see the jury's out on that one okay so the last things I got I got three of the only one by Rimmel but they're in red packaging. So why are they in red packaging? One's color Salute, Keep It Coral, and High Flyer. I know I don't have any of these. So let's do this one here. This is 200 Salute. This is what it looks like. And I just thought that was such a pretty color. I didn't um, swatch any of them in the store. Oh, that is a very pretty color. Yes, I'm going to love that. Okay, that was Salute. The next one is 600 Keep It Coral. And I thought this was really pretty too. Ugh, it's really orangey though. So I will probably pass this one along. Or maybe, I don't know if I can take it and, and uh, exchange it. That is too coral for me. Too orangey. Oh, this one's gorgeous. This one is a 610 High Flyer. And it's just a little bit deeper than that middle shade there. They really look different on in my viewfinder, but um, oh, those two I absolutely love. But the coral one, um, you know, and I didn't even look at the the names of them. I should have known better than to get this one. But it, this one here was uh, buy one, get one half price. So one, one of these is $7.49 and the others are $3.74. Um, I probably had to pay $7.49 for the other one too. See, and I didn't realize those were even 50% off. Buy one, get one 50% off. I didn't realize the Rimmel was on there because there wasn't a sign up in front of it. So... Um, Anyway, that is my lipsticks that I got. Now, the lipsticks that I got, I got, what did I get? Five new ones. My new rule for 2017, if I buy a lipstick, I have to get rid of a lipstick. Because I have so many that I don't use. So I picked out some lipsticks. And I picked out seven lipsticks. Now I'm going to decide which ones are going. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is, um, they're old and I never touch them. This is um, Rose Elixir 218 and this is in the uh, the Color Riche 
balm. The balm, they're just so light colored. I never ever reach for these. So these here um, are going. And here's another one in the balm. This is 219 Plush Plum. That's going to go. Um, let's go with the Revlon 053 Sorbet. It's that one. That's three. And the 010 Ras Raspberry Pie. And they're pretty colors, but they're so light that you can't even see the color. And they're so old, they need to go. Okay, that's four. So which one am I going to go with? Let's go with this one. 705 Blushing Bud. And this is a Maybelline. But I never touch these. So these, those five are going in my garbage. Um, I would actually try to, you know, trade them or something. But they're so old that... Um, they probably don't work well enough anymore. So anyway, those those five went five in, five out. That's the way it's going to go from now on um, with my lipstick. I need to do a lipstick declutter anyway because there's so many of them I just don't touch. Um, there's ones that I'll never get rid of, like my my one out or the only ones by Rimmel. Now I've got. Let's see, how many of these do I have now? I've got uh, one, two, three, four, four or five of them, and then I've got these two. I'm not going to keep the uh, keep it coral. I might try to go trade that one in because I don't like it. But the other two I will keep for sure. So that was my... Dollar Tree and Walgreens haul. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't. And tell your friends, give them, share this video. I would love that. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.